Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. Now in this series we are talking about control structure and specifically in this video we will talk about the switch case. First we will understand what is switch case and we will understand the control flow of a switch case and after that what is the necessity and why there is a switch case over the e-files, nested e-files. We will talk about those and also we will show you the practical example also. So without wasting time, let's try to understand what is switch case. As you can see in this slide that we first will define what is switch case. You can see here the switch case statement evolutes a given expression and based on the evoluted value or we can say that based on the matching value or a matching a certain condition or we can say it as a case it evolutes the statements and associated with it and basically it is used to perform different action based on the different condition or we call it as a cases as you can see in this flowchart there is a starting point of the switch case and it can take a constant value or a expression and based on the given expression or the constant value it will match one particular case there you can see there is a multiple conditions or sorry multiple cases are there so there can be a number of case can be there and based on the matching value it will go directly to the condition or the cases and it will execute certain steps or statements whatever the whatever the associated code or statement will be there it will execute and after that it will break from that switch case statement okay again if it will match the case number one it will execute stay all the statements in this block and it will directly go to the end of the switch statement okay if it will match this case then it will run directly these statements whatever the statement will be there in this block it will execute that and after that it will break from that block and it will directly go to the end of the switch statement same if there will be n number of case and if a certain case will match particularly that case will execute and after that it will break okay and one more important point is there there is a certain default case so if no condition will match here directly it will go to the default case because no condition is matching from here that's why it will go to the default and whatever the operation you want to execute on that default operation default block you can write the code associated with it and after that you can break and after that it will end the switch statement okay so easily we can say that the switch statement is a multi-branch language construct you can create more than one branches using uh, the switch statement this is in contrast to the if statement and you have to nest statements to create the same effect okay the switch expression is evaluated and checked against each of the case compile time constants if a constant matches the switch expression the case statement is executed if the case also contains a break statement the program then jump out of the switch statement or switch case if there is a no break statement the program continues evaluating the other case statements if no matches are found the default statement is executed if there are no matches also no default is there none of the statement inside the switch are executed now i'll show you how you can write the code for switch expression and i'll show you or compare it with the nested if else or the if else ladder so let's start as you can see that there is an example of a switch statement and i'll compare it with the if else ladder so that it will be easier for you to understand because you already uh, know about the if else ladder in from our previous video 
so first we will read out this paragraph and after that we will go to this code so when you need your x plus plus code to branch based on one of several values of a single variable a switch statement can be less verbose alternative to the if statement this table that means this one contains an example of each statement so as you can see that we have a variable account number and based on this account number we want to perform a specific task so based on this account number we have to execute certain statements or certain uh, line of code so as you can see that if the value will be 200 then i want to print this one otherwise if it will be 500 then i want to print this one if it will be uh, 1000 then i want to print c other value if the account number or account will be this one then i want to print d and if nothing will match then at the end it will print e and your program will execute or you can pause your program based on your requirement but you can see there the number of codes or the line of code is increasing here also you have to write e fails each time but you can reduce this type of code using the switch statement so how you can see that same variable is present here account is same here and you can see there is a starting of the switch and here is the end of the switch statement okay and you can see that we have these cases like the if else statement having so directly we can have to give we have to give the keyword case and after that we can mention the constant value so inside these two bracket we can assign any expression or we directly give one variable like this and as you can see that based on the 200 value when the account number will be 200 then this particular line of code will print and after that it will break from the condition and directly it will jump out from this switch case and it will directly go particular this line that means it will pause or if you don't need just erase this then your code will be end here okay and if it will be the case will be 500 or account number 500 it will print this one if it will be 1000 then it will print this one after that will break and each and every case you need to give this break statement so this is a nothing but a keyword in x plus plus programming language and after that there will be a default case and after the default case there should not have any constant value like this or uh, just we directly you have to give the colon and whatever the statement you want to give that that you have to give here and after that you have to give the break okay so if you will not give break in each and every uh, case then it will be treated as a single case okay not single case uh, it will go to this for example you are giving your account number uh, 200 so directly it will go to this case and if there will be no break statement so it will execute the next case also um, like like this so it will execute each and every line so that's why it is important to give break uh, after each and every case okay now to execute this particular code i'll change this print statement to info statement so that we can see the output in our front end okay so i'll just type out uh, this particular code this is the same code instead of the print statement i am using here info you can see and uh, after each and every is uh, case there is a break statement so just i have to copy it or write it in the visual studio so as you can see mm, uh, that we have written the code over the visual studio so you already know that how to create a runnable class um, and inside the runnable class you inside the main method you have to write your code and uh, you have to make your runnable class as a start object and if you'll run the code as you can see there is the account number is 1000 
it will directly go to this particular case and it will print the C. So if you we'll execute it, you will be able to see the output as a C here. Okay. I hope it's clear. Now we'll directly move to the next example. As you can see, there is an example too. So first we will read out this particular paragraph. When your X plus plus code must branch based on the based on groups of values for a variable, the switch statement can be less verse force alternative to the if statement. This table contains an example of each statement. How the switch statement can be less verbose alternative to the if statement, you will be able to understand this with this particular table. Okay, so there is a if statement, and alternatively, you can write the same code or same functionality with the switch statement. So, for example, there is a first number 210, and uh, you are uh, dividing with this 10 first number. So, if you divide it into with 10, you can see based on the line of code, you can see easily here that we are trying to matching for the number div 10 with the value 10, 12 and 40. But if this particular number div 10 will match with the 10, 12 and 14. So, as you can see, there is a or statement that anyone, if anyone will match with this, it will execute this line of code that means it will print f else um, if it will not match anything it will directly go to this inside if statement and again it will check with 13 17 21 and 500 and you, as you can see all are or statement so based on that you can see that any of them can match and if it will match it will print the g and if it will not match, it will go to the directly else ca case and it will print the H. So you can implement this with the switch case very easily. So in the switch statement, you can see also that we have a first number to one zero and directly we are giving the expression value here. So we don't have to uh, give like this. You can directly also uh, give the expression inside the switch statement and as you can see there is a group of values as you can as you already know from this section uh, for 10 12 or 13 we can create a single case and whatever the value or a statement will be there you can write it in the uh, uh, this section and after that you have to give the break and if this will not match directly it will go to the next case that means uh, you can see also that here we can give the group of values like 13, 17, 21, 500 and after that we can give our statement or print statement after that we can break and after that you can see here that if it is not matching here we can write a else statement. So for that we have a default statement if nothing will match here it directly it will go to the default and it will execute the statement whatever the statement will be there in the default and after that it will break so if you require if you, you require pause you can use that or you, you just erase this one by the way if you want to take this particular code you can search it in the google for mstn document you will be able to get this type of code there okay and if you will write this particular code in your visual studio like this so i just removed the print statement with the info here to show the result in the front end and um, you just have to write all this code over uh, in the visual studio and if you will execute it as you can see here there is a 210 and if you will divide it with the 10 then it will the expression will generate the constant value that is 21 and it will directly match with this particular case that means here you can see 21 is there and it will directly print the info and after that it will break so if you we'll execute it you will be able to see the message uh, the info message and it will print the g so here you can see in this output g is there so i hope now the concept is clear i want to give one more example for the break statement 
as you can see in this break statement slide first we will understand whatever the paragraph is written there then we will move to this particular table so if you do not use the break statement the program follow in the switch statement continues to the next case okay it will not break if will not give the break inside a case the two code segment in the following table have the same behavior for example if you if you want to write the multiple case like this case 13 case 17 case 21 case 500 and you are not giving any particular break statement there then it means it will be treated as the single case okay and if any particular statement will be there uh, to execute so if it will match 13 then also uh, it will execute this particular line of code if it will be it, if it will be 17 21 500 for each and every case it will execute execute this line of code if there will be multiple line then also it will execute each and every line for each and every case you can minimize it with this particular code so instead of writing case 17 case 21 500 like this you can give the comma like this and after that you can give your statement okay and after that you have to give the break so it's important to write the efficient on efficient code in your production environment so if you understand and if you know each and every syntax your code will look like good and you will be a pro x plus plus developer now i'll show you one more example that if you will not write so if you will not write the break statement so what will happen so in this code section you can see that for 200 it it is having the break statement for 500 it is having the break statement but in case of this one and this one there is nothing there is no break statement is there also in case of default there is no break statement so if it will be 200 it directly go to this 200 and it will print only and and all other course all other case will be ignored if it will be 500 then it will directly print b and break from the switch and it will ignore all these cases but as you can see here the value is 100 sorry 1000 so it will match directly this case and it will print out this one but if there will be no break statement this will execute this one also and it will print d also also it will print default because there is no break statement so it will print also e so in this for this particular program it will print c d and e so so if we'll uh, copy it and if we'll write it in the visual studio and if it, and if you will run it it will produce e d c okay these three um, cases you will match because there is no a break statement so i hope you understood the concept of switch the switch statement is a multi-branch language construct uh, you can create more than two branches using the switch statements so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye